zero. Liftoff. Six years after it rocketed into space, NASA's Parker Solar Probe is believed to have made its closest flyby of the sun yet, just 6.1 million kilometers from the solar surface. We have been dreaming for this mission to go to get as close as possible to the sun since the late 50s. The Parker probe is the fastest object ever built on Earth, traveling at a blistering 690,000 kilometers per hour, a speed that would get you from Toronto to Vancouver in 17 seconds. It's also built to withstand temperatures of more than 1,600 degrees Celsius. This is a piece of the heat shield that sits in front of the spacecraft. It's made of a carbon composite fiber, and you can see it's fairly thick. That and a custom-made radiator help keep the instruments cool. So scientists can unlock the secrets of the sun and its outer edge or corona, that part that's visible during a total eclipse. The corona is really, really hot, and we have no idea why. Much hotter than the sun itself, and it's also where solar flares form, as well as CMEs, or coronal mass ejections of plasma, like this one Parker captured up close. So all of that is incredibly important for aspect of space weather that affects us directly. After all, powerful flares generated in the corona can wreak havoc here on Earth. They affect uh, satellites, communication satellites, GPS, the, the grid. Uh, and if you're an astronaut in space, you want to know when one of these things are coming so you can take shelter. The Parker probe is a gift that keeps on giving for scientists, but they won't know if it survived its close brush with the sun until Friday. That's when it's supposed to be back in transmission range. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Washington.